Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. I hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is Tuesday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. I wanted to do a contest entry for Gab's Music Trip. A uh, 100 sub contest. But uh, he's well over that now. He's 148 subs as of this morning. So he's just going to keep on going. And a uh, great trait channel. I learned to, learned of his channel through the amazing Aaron Muth Alamar when I was watching his video entry for for Gav's channel. Um, Gav's want, Gav wants to show um, albums from the year we turned 23. In my case that was 1983. Uh, different time in music for sure from uh, uh, my love of the 60s and 70s. The 80s became um, there were still some rock and albums in there but uh, became more pop oriented and uh, video oriented albums synthesized albums that type of thing um he also wants us to show a, a photo of us from back then or a couple of photos i could find one but i think the rest is at my mom's place and uh, uh she doesn't have internet so she couldn't have sent me them to me anyway a uh, chance to win a 30 dollar um or or pound a 30 pound card um and uh the contest goes to the end of september Obviously, let Gav know that you've uh, um, submitted your video. Obviously, uh, be a subscriber to his channel. And leave great comments. Leave great comments to everyone that you uh, watch. And watch the whole video if you could. Uh, that's the thing. It's, it's Watching a couple of seconds of a video isn't necessarily supporting anyone's channel. And uh, we all need support and love. So let's all support Gav's channel. Um, great, great stuff. And... Uh, Let's get into it. So, as I said, I was uh, um, 23. Sorry, I, in 1983, I turned 23. Uh, That's a long time ago. Different time in my life, for sure. Um, but uh, there was some great music released at that time. Still some rock and music. And I'm only going to show vinyl. I didn't show any CDs because I could have gone forever on that one. But. Um, I think I've shown some good ones here. So, um, second album by Night Ranger. This is Midnight Madness. Uh, big, big hit, Sister Christian off of this one. Um, it's our highest selling album as well. Um, there's like still a couple of singles off of this one as well. Uh, you can still rock in America and when you close your eyes, but just a great straight ahead rock, pop rock uh, band in Night Ranger. And, of course, Sister Christian was the big, big hit at that time. I uh, had a chance to see this fine uh, Texas blues man um, in Toronto um, with none other than the great Jeff Healy, the great Canadian blues artist, and uh, Jeff Beck. This <laughs> was a, an amazing, amazing concert. Uh, if you don't know Jeff Healy... Uh, great blues player in his own right, blind player as well. He played almost a pedal steel um, style, but it was it was just his uh, uh, guitar on his lap, and he used his fingers in a different style. But he would be the only guy that could keep up with Stevie Ray as far as um, playing, and, and those two together. Uh, there's a few videos with them playing together, and, and Stevie Ray was just in awe, and they loved each other, and they had a great time together. They put up amazing, amazing music. Uh, this is uh, the debut album from Stevie Ray Vaughan and um, Double Trouble. This is Texas Flood, an amazing, amazing album. Still one of my favorites by him. Um, you got Love Struck Baby, Pride and Joy, Texas Flood, Testify, but just amazing, amazing stuff on this one. And what a concert that was. I'll never forget that one. Jeff Healy came on first. Blue, and he just didn't sit. He was bopping around and, and doing all kinds of things. Jeff Beck came in and just made that guitar sing like no other could. And, of course, Stevie Ray Vaughan came on and just the stage blew and, and he had that bow on and, and just just rocked the house for sure. It was amazing, amazing stuff. So great, great album from 1983. Um, speaking of uh, great bands from the 80s and and course the video channels much music from Canada and MTV from the States made a lot of these bands famous or shot them to stardom really and this was a band that that happened 
uh, in that way. This is the Rhythmics, Rhythmics and Touch. The great Annie Lennox and Dave Stewart. Great pop duo. Um, there's Dave Stewart there. Um, great album. Third album by them. Uh, their first number one album as well. Um, you got the Who's That Girl uh, right by your side. And here comes the rain again. Um, classic, classic stuff in the Eurythmics. Um, of course, what would be a video by me that didn't have Canadian content in it? The great Brian Adams, Cuts Like a Knife. I've seen him, I don't know how many times. Saw him on this tour as well. This is a, another huge album. Uh, international star, really. Um, but uh, played with so many players and, and sang with so many people. Just amazing. Um, again, uh, another huge, huge uh, hit. Five singles uh, off of this album. You got uh, Let Her Know, Straight From The Heart. Cuts like a knife this time, and the best, uh, uh, the best is yet to come. Uh, or, sorry, the best has yet to come. But uh, huge, huge album by Mr. Brian Adams. Uh, another Canadian band, Loverboy. Keep it up. The great uh, Mike Reno. Um, just great, great stuff. Uh, hit number seven in the U.S. and Billboard's 200. Uh, also, Juno uh, Award, which is uh, Canadian Grammys style. Album of the Year. Hot Girls in Love, the big hit off of this one. And uh, really, really good. Really, really good stuff. The Lover Boy. Um, their final album as uh, the original group. Um, this is Sticks and Kilroy was here. Concept album really uh, was the end for Dennis DeYoung unfortunately. Uh, the band wanted to continue um, their rock and style. This became like a theatrical uh, event. Uh, so they'd, they'd be backing up um, bands like Kiss and all these hard rock bands. And then they'd have to come out and put down these costumes and, and do a theater, basically. And the band uh, didn't like that. They didn't appreciate it. Still a great album. It's the 11th album by Styx. Um, the uh, Kilroy was here. Name came from uh, WW2 uh, Graffiti Tag. Uh, but again, it would be the last album by them. Um, and uh, you got Mr. Roboto, uh, Don't Let It End. Uh, high Time, uh, platinum selling album just the same by the band, but uh, great, great album. 1983 release, uh, not my favorite by them, but uh, still a great one. Uh, speaking of uh, the music video channels that skyrocketed people to stardom, you got Cindy Lauper and She's So Unusual. Uh, this put her on the map. Uh, great, great debut by Cindy Lauper. Six singles off of this album alone. Just amazing. Just amazing. Um, you got Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Time of her, uh, um, time after time. She bops all through the night. Money changes everything. Uh, and When You Were Mine. Again, a huge, huge success on MTV and Much Music. Um, she put her, put Cindy Lauper in the limelight, really, um, and also uh, won her a Grammy for best new, uh, best new artist. So fantastic album by Cindy Lauper. Uh, another band that uh, the video channels shot to start, and these guys were were huge before that, but um, when Eliminator came out, it just shot them to. Uh, Superstardom, it's easy top. Um, the eighth album by the band, <clears throat> pardon me, four singles off of it. You got Gimme All Your Love and Sharp Dressed Man, TV Dinner and Legs. Again, all video um, channel hits. Again, made them famous. And it would be their highest selling album also. It's easy top and Eliminator. Um, 
great, great album. Great, great album. Um, another video star. <laughs> uh, and cool story about this guy. Um, so this is Huey Lewis in the news and sports. This is a huge commercial success album for Huey Lewis. Um, again, another third album uh, by Huey. Um, but it shot him to superstardom, for sure. But um, getting back to Loverboy and Mike Reno, the lead, lead uh, singer, um, Huey Lewis toured with Loverboy uh, as a backup band and um, was struggling at the time. And, um, you know, talked to Mike Reno a lot. What am I doing wrong? What do I need to do? You know, uh, Loverboy was pretty successful at the time. And Mike Reno just simply said, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, don't stop. Don't change anything. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And uh, it did with this album. It just shot them to superstardom. Um, <clears throat> seven times platinum album. You got four top ten singles. You got five singles in all on this album. Heart and Soul, I Want a New Drug. Uh, the Heart Rock and Roll, If This Is It. And uh, Walk on a Thin Line. Just a remarkable, remarkable album uh, by Huey Lewis in the News. Great, great album. <coughs> Pardon me. And finally, um, there was still hard rock happening in the 80s. Uh, this is uh, Rainbow and Been Out of Shape. Um, Rainbow, again, uh, fantastic uh, British hard rock band. Um, seventh album by them. You got Richie Blackmore on guitars. Uh, Roger Glover on bass. Um, Joe Lynn Turner on vocals. Great vocalist, Joe Lynn Turner. Um, only sang one Deep Purple album on that one. I still like that album, but uh, great, great um Vocalist Jolyn Turner, uh, David Rosenthal on keyboards, and Chuck Berg's, uh, Berge, or Berge on drums. You got Desperate Heart and, and Street of Dreams as the singles off of this one. Um, but uh, great, great rocking album in uh, Rainbow. I love Rainbow. Rainbow. Of course, the best years are with Ronnie James Dio, of course, but uh, we lost him sadly uh, before this album came out or before 1983, obviously. But so there you have it. Um, there's 10 great albums from 1983. Of course, a different year and a different time in music than uh, the great 60s and 70s, as I said. Uh, lots of pop-oriented uh, albums at the time, uh, but still great ahead rock and uh, straight ahead rock and roll for sure. Uh, I didn't show any uh, CDs. Uh, I could have shown uh, um, The Police and Metallica and... Uh, uh, Dio and, and um, Motley Crue, you know, but I, I wanted to stick with vinyl, um, but, uh, and, um, yeah, there's, there were so many great, great artists released at that time. Uh, so congratulations to Gav at Gav's Music Trip. Um, go over to Gav's channel, uh, support him, sub, leave great comments, um, and uh, let's support Gav and other channels. Um, here's my mug shot <laughs> from 1983. I actually have hair. Um, good looking dude back then, by the way. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> There you have it, guys. Good luck to everyone in the contest. Uh, good luck to Gav. Just keep on doing what you're doing, Gav. You're doing great. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.